with trenders, we got you. Yay! Yay! Say hello to everyone. We are doing a live streaming on YouTube and also our V Live. We're doing it here too. So thank guys. you guys. Hi. Okay, so today should we talk about the theme first to get everyone and yes. make sure that they don't go away? The theme today is how to fade and remove blemishes at home. Oh, that's really important. Da -da -da -da. I think this is so important right now because y'all look at look at my acne scars. It is so bad. I really want to know how I can remove uh, blemishes and it's gonna be a really good theme. So let's get started and welcome Sherry! Yay! Yay! Come, come, come. Get your little, let's get in the middle and try to center uh, ourselves yes. so we can all get in this little thing. Alright Sherry, can you please share a little bit about okay. yourself? Hello everyone, I'm very excited at the same time a little bit nervous. Uh, I'm Sherry and I'm from Bhutan, 25, currently a student and I'm so excited to be here because I have some blemishes issues but it's not that prominent mm -hmm. but then I have like blackheads and my skin mm. tone is like uneven right. so I'm really looking forward to this life and learn a lot of tips from you guys. Yay! And mm. it is Let's Break It Down! How to fade and uh, remove blemishes at home. Mm. Okay, alright, so let's get started. Yeah, so we asked our community what skin type you have mm. and what kind of concerns that you have in regards to your um, skin type. So, um, in regards to blemishes. So, people will say, you know, I have combination skin or oily skin. I don't know how to deal with my blemishes because if I try something, I don't know if my skin or my, you know, will be susceptible to it, will right. accept it. So, we asked you guys um, all these questions and we took all your questions, we categorized in their respective categories, and we're going to be answering the most relevant ones. Right, right. We can't answer everything, but we try to mm -hmm. kind of squish them all together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try and give you all the information that you need and you want in regards to blemishes and your skin. So the okay. best part is that the first question that we asked you is mm -hmm. what kind of skin type that you guys have. Mm. And we asked if you have dry skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, normal skin, and combination. Mm -hmm. And what about you guys? What kind of skin types do you have? Sure. As, as I said earlier, combination. combination. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I have oily. Oily? Yeah. Okay. Always oily. Mm. I have sensitive, acne prone, and combination too. So, yes, but in the survey, uh, really surprisingly, 44% voted for combination mm. skin too. Yes, that's mm. a lot. That's like almost mm -hmm. half. And the, uh, on the second place, it was uh, oily skin, and then dry skin, sensitive skin, and then normal skin. I really am so jealous of those people that have normal, normal skin. Normal skin. skin. Mm -hmm. I'm I really, really thick too. skin. Oh, oh, oh. So what do you guys think about active mm. people like who play sports and all? Mm. How should they treat their sports and blemishes? Because it's hard not to touch your face mm. because you're sweating and you need to wipe it off. Good oh, question. That's a, this is a really, really good question mm -hmm. because I never thought about this before, mm -hmm. like when you're sweating or when you're working out or something, because you subconsciously kind of like mm. wipe your face, your skin. Mm. And the thing is, if you're working out playing um, sports or you're just right. outside and whatnot, your hands are dirty. Right. And then you're wiping your skin off. That's not only going to cause blemishes, mm. but that's also going to cause, you know, just bad just skin overall. overall. Like you're putting Gosh. dirt oh. on your skin, you're wiping it, it's sweat so your pores are open, so it's just kind of like a mess in general. So what we recommend if you're cons if you're outside, you have to play sports, or you're mm. working out and you're sweating and whatnot, is um, try, I know this is hard, mm. but if you're c conscious <laughs> enough about you know, wiping and whatnot, then try and be conscious about washing your hands as mm -hmm. well. So wash your hands after doing something and then touch your face or try not to touch your face, you know? Use, use a towel, a clean towel to um, wipe your face if you absolutely right. need to. So yeah, and then um, also sunscreen. Mm -hmm. We always emphasize this, but sunscreen is super important if you're outside playing sports. Uh, apply it 15 to 20 minutes before you go outside mm -hmm. and uh, reapply every two hours. Okay, perfect. Ali Wolf. Ali Wolf. Yeah. I always get blemishes around my chin area and can't seem to get, can't seem to tame them. They usually get dry and flaky, but my T zone is usually shiny and oily, and my nose has large pores I can't seem to close up. Any suggestions to help with that? Like skincare essentials from my routine. Mm. 
mark of victory right that's there. The sensitive, acne prone, yes, dry skin, yes. right? Oh, I, so yes, that's me. So and complicated. It's very complicated, but I just want to say that this is already commonly well known, but vitamin C is such a great ingredient to remove and fade away of blemishes. So it's really important that uh, you do use a product with vitamin C in it. It can be a little bit tricky because vitamin C products are a little bit sticky and they're mm. kind of like, mm. they smell funky and they are pretty strong. So for you to find the product that really works for you is can be a little bit tricky, but it's so important that you use a vitamin C product. Yes. And not only does it help to remove and fade away acne marks, but if, uh, if you use it for consistently like a long time, a long period of time, you don't even have to use large amounts of it. Even if you use a small amount of it, if you use it every single day or every other days, then it can actually help with tightening your pores too and removing dead skin cells. So a lot of people who have seen the effects of vitamin C, they never go back. Once you go vitamin mm. C, you don't go back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, seriously, vitamin C is such a great product. It's just the tricky part that you find the one that works for your skin. Yeah. But yeah, definitely that's such a great question and another thing is I think UV rays blemishes like a lot of people think oh if I have acne marks or like uh, current acne mm -hmm. I don't want to make it worse by putting sunscreen on mm -hmm. because with sunscreens they do have really not great ingredients in it sometimes however it's so important for especially our acne marks and blemishes that you do put sunscreen on because if you don't then the the marks can go on for like three times or four times yeah. or even ten times longer. So it's really important that you do protect your skin from the UV rays too. Mm -hmm. Okay, that name is Fitzgerald. Mm. I'm sorry if, am I, if I'm pronouncing mm. it wrong. Can you talk about battling blemishes? But <coughs> when having both combination and sensitive skin, please, you could do that. You could do that with each skin type. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, how to actually remove the blemishes okay. depending on your skin type. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna split into two categories, sensitive and non-sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, I am non-sensitive, so I'll be doing the non-sensitive side. So, so, and you two will be doing the sensitive, sensitive right? The sensitive. Mm -hmm. So for non-sensitive, mm -hmm. um, the first step for both um, skin types is to apply toner. This is better. So apply liberally onto face. And then for non-sensitive skin, try to use a vitamin C product that has 20% or more vitamin C in it. 20% um, is a pretty good high enough that it'll be highly effective, but it's not too high where it'll irritate your skin. The um, pure vitamin C 21.5. I'm going to be using this and then for sensitive skin you guys are going to be using the vitamin drop right? Yes, so. clear freshly juiced vitamin mm -hmm. drop. This is a lot of our wish trenders favorites that too Basically, that's like probably the best-selling vitamin C product on wishtrend.com for like more than three years now And this is really good. This has one number one category like for vitamin C serums you guys can see it, right? Oh, it's spilling! So it's very like viscous, but that means it's just going to absorb into your skin a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Exfoliation, you should probably do it at night, and also vitamin C has a slight exfoliation effect, mm. so we recommend doing this at night as well. Mm -hmm. But if you absolutely have the urge to do it in the morning, um, please wear a lot of sunscreen, yeah. a lot of sunscreen, because this does have an exfoliating effect. It makes your skin a lot more perceptible, mm. I mean, susceptible to UV rays. So I would, I only put it on at night. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's Very my tip, good. Kay. Yeah, and this one, it's clear like this. Do you see? It's kind of like oil-like. Yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of the scent, to be honest. It, it doesn't, I, for me, it kind of smells like a hint of metal, kind of. So I'm not a huge fan of the scent. Sounds like the, the vitamin C metal. Oh, but it's okay. It's not. Too, you have to like sniff it to you know be able yeah, to kind of it. know. So it's the scent is really mild, and I'm only gonna put it right now on the T zone because right now I'm kind of like oh really bad right there. So look at this. My blemish is over here. Okay. Alina J. I constantly struggle with blemishes and don't see the result I want from just applying vitamin C. Mm. What's the way that I can see faster results? Mm. Mm. Now, Good. this question is very similar to random gamming. Just asked if I can use a moisturizer. What kind of moisturizer should I use with the vitamin C serum to uh, work together? And that's actually the answer to this question. And I really understand and we understand that struggling with 
blemishes is so frustrating to a point where you're like, I'm using a freaking vitamin C serum. Like, yeah. why isn't it going away? Like, what am I doing wrong? You know, I'm following all the steps and all the tips that you have told me. I'm actually using the products that you have asked me to do. So I really understand your frustration. Mm -hmm. uh, what we want to suggest is to use and add on another step with your vitamin C serum. So if, even if you're not using these type of serums, you're probably using a vitamin C product. We recommend that you add in an ingredient, vitamin E. So vitamin E is not just a really great ingredient for anti-aging and this and that. There's so many great effects about it. Another thing is that it can really help to boost the absorption rate of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. So when you use it with the vitamin C serum, it helps, it kind of boosts the effects together. So it's a perfect, perfect combination. And there's many vitamin E creams or moisturizers out there that is very mild too. So sometimes if you use a vitamin C serum, it can be kind of harsh on your skin. So you don't want to use another harsh on your, uh, another product that can be uh, irritating or harsh on your skin. You want to kind of make sure that you balance it out. So a good moisturizer containing vitamin E ingredient is so good. Uh, for me personally, I like the Vitamin 75 Maximizing Cream by Wish Trends, and this is Claire's Freshly Juice Vitamin E Mask. But this can be used as a moisturizer too. So you can be, uh, you can use it during the daytime and for both nighttime. And you can use any of these together like this. And this is fabulous and you can use them in daytime and both nighttime mm. but we do recommend that for the vitamin c serums that you use it only for nighttime yes, both of them are very mild but i just feel like the texture itself okay. this is a little bit more lighter so then, i'll show you the texture yeah, and then. it feels like almost like pudding it does like or flan or something yeah like flan you guys see like mm -hmm. it's like jiggly almost it's like the it's bouncy oh can bouncy. we get some yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You're let me really just show open. you it's like Ooh. legit like pudding yeah yeah but it like melts into this essence type mm. so it's really interesting oh wow I, I i took a little from that but it turned into a lot yeah i really like this this is uh one of my favorite moisturizers it's very mild and it contains natural vitamin c and vitamin e so it's like it's super mild that's one thing that i always look at in a product oh let me uh, maybe I should put a little bit more so you guys can see it. It kind of reminds me a lot of sleeping masks. Look. Look at that. It looked a little bit thicker in the beginning, but... It reminds me a lot of a sleeping mask. Can I use it on my face right now? Yeah! <laughs> it feels really nice and it's like light. So for me, I really like using it after my vitamin C. It just kind of balances everything out. And it's no giving a glow as well. Mm. Yeah. 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 Pull up ball. No matter how well I stick to my skincare routine mm. of cleansing, toning, moisturizing, and using sunscreen, mm. I still get blemishes and it's really frustrating. I understand that. Yeah. So I don't know mm. what I need to change. I drink a lot of water. Right. Maybe cut back on sugar. Mm -hmm. Or is there something I need to add to my routine? Okay. Perfect. Uh, I, we understand how frustrating that can be also, but usually the main cause of blemishes is UV rays too. So you have to keep that in mind. And a lot of people don't see UV damage right off the bat unless you mm. get literally sunburned like, ah, it hurts or you're red. But you have to keep in mind that after five years, 10 years, 15, 20, it's going to make a huge difference. Yeah. When you see your friend after five years or even 10 years that didn't put on sunscreen and did put on sunscreen, there's going to be a huge difference. And especially with blemishes too, if uh, it's really sensitive and it's caused by uh, UV rays. So if you don't put sunscreen on, it's just going to be a no-no for you. And I can't, we can't emphasize it enough for you guys that how important it is for you to put on sunscreen. And it's very annoying to, of course, reapply every two hours. But there are sun creams or sun lotions that are more, much less like sticky and oily so it's really important that you find a sunscreen that works for you i personally love sun sticks because you can just put it on mm. and the, uh, even uh, when you're out in the beach and your hands is all dirty you just boop, 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 and then put it on <laughs> again and it's so easy to reapply so i think it just makes a huge difference and another thing that i wanted to show you guys is i carry this mm. hat around and like, at lunchtime because it's really important to cover my face this part which i have oh. so much like 
like blemishes here and like sun damages. So I always do this and it makes a huge difference, a huge difference for me. So I love it. And another person, um, uh, I think my mom always says this. I don't really do this really well, but mm -hmm. they always recommend oh, yeah. that you wear something like a long, a long sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, yeah, especially mm -hmm. when you're hot, unless like you're at the beach and stuff. It's better to wear a long sleeve to protect your skin. So this is really important. And just remember, I know that you try your best to drink a lot of water, to drink a lot of stuff, to cut down on sugar or gluten and stuff. And I think that's so good. And remember to eat a lot of fresh veggies and yes. take your antioxidant. Good thing. Okay. Thank you. So that Thank was you, sharing. The take from today. I yeah. Had fun. You had fun. Yay. You were, you were such a great. Maybe because so. it's related to my skin, so I was just oh. like being, you know, did somebody That's come true, up perfect. with like something that I'm missing? I wish Thanks, guys! Bye! <laughs> See you guys next time!